A new Ride Suit On patch is live right now called patch 1.31. Let's run down everything it does in this video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and don't forget to hit that like button. Alright, so on patch 1.31 is a direct response to the issue that occurred in the previous big patch 1.30, of course, that added the new game plus mode, the new face paint options and the ultra hard difficulty. The first fix I should note is about the issue I noted in the video that went up yesterday about the Shadow Stalwart Adept outfit that got broken. Of course, there's a new version of the Shadow Stalwart Happy and that now has an extra modification slot and of course also has the feature to travel to Sunfall because you get this disguise, nobody sees that it's Aloy and this is something you could not do with other outfits that are not a Shadow Stalwart variant. In patch 1.30 in the new game plus mode this was not possible anymore and even weird stuff like the things you see right now occurred. I can confirm that in the new patch, patch 1.31, this issue is resolved as you can now walk into Sunfall with the Shadow Stalwart Adept outfit on. Fast travel is still not possible though sadly, so it seems like Gorilla still has some work to do to fully fix this feature in the new game plus mode. In the normal mode there's no problem, you can just fast travel with your Shadow Stalwart heavy outfit, but in the new game plus mode this is not possible with the Adept version. Other fixes include an issue where certain players hitting an armor plate with a bomb while the machine was frozen would do even more damage than intended. And I think that I had this sometimes that I just did an extraordinary amount of damage that suddenly the machine just dropped and I was like wow how did this happen. And you see it right here against this thunder job. This issue should be resolved right now. Other fixes are for the tear blaster where the stats for that weapon were not shown correctly in the weapon wheel. And for the melee damage that of course changes on the different difficulties. You do less damage with your heavy attack on a harder setting but it stayed the same for some people so that should also be fixed. In the new game plus mode you of course had to do the hunting trials again to get the lodge weapons again and there were some issues where some people got access to a trial without having the requirements so you had to use shock and freeze ammo but when people started the trial they did not have that. Another fix for a really interesting issue I did not know that this was possible some people were able to carry their heavy weapons that they had in the normal game to the new game plus. So that should be a pleasant surprise when getting out of Rost's house. Then last but not least, the fix I want to note is regarding the face paint that could not be selected properly in the photo mode. So of course, if you want to read everything, all the fixes Gorilla Games did with patch 1.31, I'll leave a link down in the description below. But this is all the things that I found noteworthy. Of course, great to see that Gorilla Games is fixing the issues we have super fast. They will probably do more patches to fix other issues in the coming weeks as we prepare for the Horizon Zero Dawn DLC, the Frozen Wilds. Don't want to miss anything regarding Horizon Zero Dawn? Then hit that subscribe button to stay up to date. Also, if you found something interesting regarding this patch, please let me know since Gorilla Games might do some secret changes now and then. Thanks a lot for watching. I will speak to you guys next time. Of course, don't forget to hit the like button and goodbye.